Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I'm sorry that I took a long break from making videos. I just haven't had, like, the motivation for it. But, um, I don't know how long I'm gonna be making videos again for. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be taking another break. Um, but today I wanted to go over if the new creatures that came in the October 4th um, 2023 update, being the squid creature and then the mole-like creature, um, are actually worth getting. So, first things first, um, let's take care of the squid creature, because, let's be honest, that's probably what you guys want to actually know if you guys could get it or not, because, I mean, it's only gonna be here for a few more weeks. Um, I think it's gonna be here for like three more weeks. And then next week I believe we are getting the warden species for the, um, Summer Paradise event. So, um, as you guys can see, there it is right there, the Squidiga, the Squitigo, the Squitigo, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, and I believe that that's gonna be our warden creature. We also got the Denjizzy mission unlocked. So if you guys didn't get that creature last week, you guys can get it this week. Um, the Nusifra Koku, I guess. Um, that is still available from last week. So is the Mordellium and also the Roll Rollo. Um, so this creature is a tier two herbivore. Um, it's also a glider slash semi-aquatic. Um, and its special ability is invisibility. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Just a little something about it. Um, but let's actually head over to... No, how about we head over to this little rock. Also, I believe this creature takes about 13 minutes to grow. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanted to do that. And it is also, um, 500 shells. But if you guys don't believe me, 500. And yeah, tier 2, herbivore, semi-aquatic, slash land, but it's also a glider, so. Yeah. Um, here's how you guys can buy all the shells in case you guys were curious, in case you guys just want to buy it. Um, and we also got three plushies in this event. That is the Serpent, which gives you plus 15% ligament tier, which if you're still trying to get the, that, that Venuela mission unlocked, this will be really helpful. Um, the Goldfish, which gives you the Iron Stomach ability, that means that you can eat rotting food. And the Palm Tree, which gives you plus 20 hunger capacity. Um, that's also, it's I guess it's T-Pose animation. Um, but yeah, it has 13,000, I mean 1,300 health, 120 max stamina, 22 speed, 80 damage, 65 appetite, 0 bleed, 3 out of 3 night vision, now that's not bad, and it is also a tier 2 herbivore. Um, this is its sitting animation, as you guys can see, that's its lying down animation, very cute, um, it's idle animation. It's walking animation, it's running animation, so it's like jumping off. Um, it's aggro animation, it's cower animation. Finally, it's rolling mud animation. Um, now, it's swimming animation, or it's idle swim. Now, this is it's swimming animation. And then it's sprinting, like, under the water animation. That's its, um, idle gliding animation. And it's diving glide. Oh, yeah. I guess anything that you do now, you get shells. Or at least it seems like that for me. Um... So, yeah, I would say that if you're trying to get, like, a cuter creature... I would recommend this one to you. Um, stat based, like, 
its damage is 80 damage. And it has a really weak health, being only 1300. Like, I think that even like a guy Rotus could probably two hit this creature. So, if you're more into PvP, I wouldn't recommend this creature. But if you are, but if you like cuter animals in this game, I would definitely recommend this to you. Um, or if it looks good to you, because I mean, this is a pretty interesting looking creature, get it. Um, if you're, tr if you're a collector, get it. Um, and if you just want to get it in general, I would think about it at first because you might change your mind on it. Um, and like also don't impulse purchase these creatures. Because if you impulse purchase, you will quickly run out of, like, your mushrooms, your tokens. I mean, not, not your tokens, but, like, your tickets, your shells. And th this is the same thing in the real world. If you impulse purchase, you'll quickly run out of your money. So, yeah, don't impulse purchase. Um, so, yeah, to the general public um, who's more into, like, the survival aspect, I wouldn't recommend this creature. I wouldn't say that it's worth it for the general group or for the general community. But if, like I said, you are in cute creatures, 100% worth it. Um, so yeah, I will be joining right back in as soon as I get the new, like, mole creature. I guess. Whatever it's called. Be back very soon. Okay, we are back. So I just wanted to quickly like go over like its palette and stuff because I didn't do this with the squid. Um, but this is what its palette looks like. You got a bunch of color options. This is what the creature looks like. Sexual dimorphism. Males have this little fin underneath their chin. Females don't. Um, so yeah. Do, 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 do. So yeah, um, this is what the walking animation looks like for the mole creature, or whatever it's called. I'm not gonna go back and see what its name is, cause, um, I'm just gonna call it a mole. That's probably how a lot of people are gonna start to call it, cause it kind of is like a mole looking thing. Um, this is its idle animation. It's tails moving, and then, like, those little frills move. Um, it's running animation. That's neat. Um, and it's also an omnivore, meaning that you can eat both meat and plants. Okay. Um, this is its sitting animation. It's lying down animation. This is pretty basic. Okay. Um... It's aggro animation. That is not that basic. Um, I mean, it kind of is, though. And then it's cower animation. That's also on the more basic side. Um, and then it's rolling mud animation. Um, this is its idle swimming animation. And that's it swimming. Um, and then as soon as I get back onto the land... We'll go over its stats and, yeah. Um, so, it has 4,000 health. That's, that's good. Um, 60 max stamina, 23 speed, 300 damage. That's also not bad for a tier 3. Um, 85 for its appetite. Um, 2 out of 3 night vision could be better, but hey, it's not that bad. And then 3 out of 5 for its tier. And then it's also an omnivore. An omnivore. And, yeah. Anyway, I saw that we could become elder. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't like a glitch. Um, so yeah, this is available in the time gotcha for the 5 hours, which I believe is 300 points. So yeah, it's not that hard to get if you play this frequently. So yeah, you guys should be able to get this creature, like, pretty quickly. Um, 
so yeah, stat wise, this is it's a pretty good tier three creature, I'd say. Um, so yeah, if you're more into like the PvP and if you like to play as a smaller creature for PvP, this is a pretty good creature for that because it has four thousand health. That can take a lot of stuff. Um, and it also has three hundred damage. So yeah, it's not a bad creature for PvP, but it's definitely not the best. Um, if you like the animations for creatures, don't get it because, I mean, that's pretty basic. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna, if you guys prefer the more, um, animations of the creatures, don't get it. If you guys like the PvP aspect of the smaller creatures, get it. Um... So yeah, PvP, it's worth it. Um, kind of anything else, I wouldn't really say it's that worth it. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and I will be seeing you guys in the next update, which will hopefully be next week when we get the new Warden species in the game. Ooh. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye.